Well, the National Weather Service says 26 tornadoes slammed Iowa during Wednesday's outbreak, and that's the third most in a single day in 1980. Yeah, it's been kind of quite a challenge. At least five of those tornadoes were EF ones or stronger. The largest tornado that hit Lake City was a massive EF three. The twister packed winds of up to 145 miles an hour. It left a 10 mile path of destruction. Our Sky 8 drone shows the devastation from up above. Yeah, the other four tornadoes were rated EF ones and wind speeds reached up to 105 miles an hour. One did some damage near Stanhope in Hamilton County. Another hit the town of Jewel. Now, weather officials say other tornadoes hit Dysert and Waverly Shell Rock. In Lake City, it'll take a while for people to sift through all the rubble and clean everything up. Work got underway immediately. In one Calhoun County home, 10 people ran to the basement for cover. Everyone made it out safe. Now neighbors are helping them recover from the natural disaster. They're clearing trees and hauling away damaged furniture. Well, the recent storms are welcoming news for Iowa farmers who need the rain, but for others, the tornado flattened their crops. The damage wasn't as bad as expected, and that's because the tornadoes didn't cover a lot of ground. The biggest threat comes from hail, and experts say more storms are beneficial to farmers as long as they're not severe. We are still uh, you know, 60 or 70 percent of normal, maybe even less than that in some areas for just rainfall yet this spring, even with all the rain we've been getting recently. And experts say these next few weeks are a game of wait and see. They say soybean crop could depend on rainfall in an August. Now this week's tornado outbreak comes nearly three years after that string of twisters that tore through central Iowa that impacted so many. You'll recall on July 19th of 2018, tornadoes hit Bondurant, Pella and Marshalltown including the courthouse. We told you this week that Marshalltown is moving forward with a plan there to revitalize their downtown area after that.